Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Cheryl. Nice to meet you. If you're new here, hello, welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. This is going to be a top 10 cozies that I read this year. So 2023. Um, just a side note, I am tired. I've been recording for two hours. My uh, clip tamp, which is the editing software I use because it's the only one I can afford, is not working properly. And I tried to do a tier ranking three times and I got to the very end of this last time and it stopped recording and did save. So I'm frustrated. I'm a bit frustrated. So I'm going to go through this real quickly because I'm tired. <laughs> so the top 10 cozy mysteries that I read in order of how I like them. Um, I read primarily cozy mysteries. That's my primary, my Mostly that's what I read. So let's get started. Um, one of them is not a cozy mystery, but I wanted to mention it because it's a YA thriller, which is kind of like a cozy mystery. I don't know. I just wanted to mention it. So <laughs> we're putting it in the cozy mysteries. I just realized now that it's not a cozy mystery. So we're just going to pretend like I planned on doing this and we're going to add it on. So grab a cup of coffee, a drink of your choice and a snack, and maybe a knitting or crochet project, and let's get started. Okay, at number 10 from the least favorite was Lemon Curd Killer by Laura Childs. This is part of the Tea Shop Mysteries by Laura Childs, one of my favorite cozy mystery series. Loved it. This is about um, the Adosha who runs a tea shop, and she is catering a uh, lemon curd th um, themed party, and someone, a body is found in the lemon curd. Gross. So, um, in a fridge, not in, like, it's, he, they're dead in the fridge, and it's, like, his face or her face. I don't remember who dies. Someone's face is found. <laughs> Smack. Anyways, you've got to read it. Love that series. Number nine is Witch and Famous by Angela M. Sanders. I love this series. It's about, it's a cozy mystery series, um, the Witch Way series. Um, I really enjoyed this, this book. This particular one is about, I forget her name, but the main character finds out she's a witch in the first book and she runs a library. And in this particular edition, in this book, um, she, I am so tired. I'm so sorry. I just, I'm so frustrated with my computer. Okay. Basically, in this particular book, a famous person comes to do an interview of someone else and the witch way her last name is way i forget where her first name is but she has to solve a murder to do with that celebrity and i loved it i love the romance in the book it's a cozy mystery but it's really good i'm not selling these very well i'm so sorry number seven we have the penguin who knew too much i had to put up a donna andrews book donna andrews is my all-time favorite cozy mystery series i don't usually give her five stars they're usually fours, four and a halfs, but I love them. They are my cozy series that I listen to an audiobook. I love that series. So Penguin Who Knew Too Much is probably my favorite that I read this year. Um, this one follows Meg Langslow, who is a blacksmith, and she solves murders. And it's hilarious. I love that series. Um, this one, I just remember the beginning being hilarious, and that's why I put it on here, because I died laughing at the beginning. It was so good. If you know, you know. The first sentence, it's so good. The audiobooks, I recommend. Number six, Pride, Prejudice, and Apparel by... Uh, I'll put the picture up here. I can't remember who wrote it. Is it Elizabeth Blake, maybe? Elizabeth Penny? I don't remember who wrote it. Oh, my gosh. Pride, Prejudice, and Apparel, I really enjoyed. I thought it was great. It's a Pride and Prejudice... Uh, it's a Jane Austen Tea Society cozy mystery series, number one. I love that. It was so good. It's got a lot of Pride and Prejudice quotes and references, and she solves murders, and it was really good. Number five. Where's number five? This is the one that I'm isn't really a cozy. It's As Good as Dead by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is the third book in the YA thriller series. Um, a Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Again, let's just pretend that I planned to put this on here and that I planned to say that I, you know, 
eight bowls in this list. I totally forgot it's not a cozy. It was so good. It's a very dark, it's very dark. I don't know why I put it in this cozy list, but it was so good. I really enjoyed it. So Good Girl's Guide to Murder follows Pip. In the first book, she, um, for her big school project at the end of the year, she dives into a cold case or into a case where they thought they found the killer, but she doesn't think that's really the killer. And the guy that was accused of the killing had committed suicide and his brother and her pip, pip um team up to solve that case and it's a whole trilogy it's so good and the third book is good as dead talked a lot about mental illness and about ptsd and um it was just so good and then number four Charlotte Eels is Not a Detective by Katie Seagal. Seagal? Seagal? I don't know how to pronounce her last name. That is an underrated book that is so good. It is, it is narrated on audiobook by the author. It is so funny. You've got to read it. It's hilarious. It's about a woman who lives... I'm sorry for the noise. They're doing a wash again. It's it's loud. Um, this follows Charlotte Eels, who was a child, child detective and solved big cases and so as an adult she wants to move on from that fame and she gets called back to her hometown by her brother and she has to solve a murder there's a love story in it as well it's so good i hope that katie Sigal comes out with another book in that series it was so good number three the top three books number three is the marlow murder club by robert thoroughgood i listened to the first two books in the series the third one comes out this year uh, the first one is The Marlowe Murder Club. The second book is Death Comes to Marlowe. This series is so good. The audiobook was hilarious. It's it's an older, an elderly lady who sees a murder in the first book, but nobody believes her. And her and two other ladies get together to solve it. It is hilarious. The things they get into is just hilarious. And it's very readable. It's very fun. I recommend this series. If you like the Thursday Murder Club, which I have not read, but I'm told if you like that series, you will love this series as well. I just loved it. It was so good. And number two, Killer Instinct by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. We've got two Jennifer Lynn Barnes books. Again, this is not a cozy. Why did I put this on here? I don't know. I guess I was just excited. Killer Instinct is a thriller, a YA thriller again by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. It is the second book in the Naturals series. This follows, um, oh, I forget her name. Follows her. And uh, she is, and she is part of the Naturals, which is kind of like Criminal Minds YA. So it's teenagers that solve cases for the FBI. And I read the second book. It was my favorite and I loved it. And I'm currently reading the third book. And my number one mystery, again, this is not a cozy. I, we're just going to not list this cozy because this is not a cozy. It is Belladonna by um, Adeline Grace. This is a kind of a paranormal mystery. So it has death in it as a character. And it follows a lady who... who cannot die and she can see death and she can um talk to death and hear death and he's kind of personified and um they solve a murder <laughs> it's just it's so good and i mentioned in my top 23 books that that was my favorite book of the year and i stand by it is my favorite book of the year and um, i'm looking forward to reading the second book which is foxglove which is trans trans tra <laughs> transisting to not transisting what's the word yeah it's in transit to my library as we speak and i'm very excited to read it so those are my top 10 mystery slash thriller books thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed and god bless and all you do bye